What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So, check out Samantha Irvin Real Truth on why she quit WWE. WWE stars are frustrated in other wrestling news and rumors. Appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel. Really want to see why Samantha uh, actually decided to leave WWE. Let's get right into this one, man. Guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with some more news. Join us hey guys what is going on Why this is wrestlemania back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including wwe star frustrated real reason samantha irvin left wwe dolph ziggler hall of fame bound john cena called out hbk wrestling again plus much more be sure to subscribe and hit uh, that notification bell notification. for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists now let's hit the intro and get on to our first story WWE star frustrated. Our top story today looks at a recent interview from Montez Ford, uh -oh. who's spoken out regarding his standing in WWE, and Ford believes that he's the greatest athlete in wrestling right now, and he's becoming increasingly frustrated. Speaking to the Daily Star, the former WWE Tag Team Champion stated, I feel like I'm the greatest athlete in the professional wrestling circuit. I feel like I'm the greatest entertainer in the professional wrestling circuit. I feel like I'm the greatest of all time. I feel like my confidence is at an all-time high. I feel like I'm the only one consecutively that has been dealing with the bloodline and every variation of the bloodline for the last four years. I've been the one doing it. I've been the one trying to fight off this disease. Me, Docs, and occasionally Kevin Owens. You've seen what happened to Kevin Owens recently. He's a little frustrated. I feel like I'm on the verge of becoming the same way. Ford then continued by adding some kayfabe elements into his reasoning, but his reasonings are potentially embedded with logic and real life issues. Mm. How many times do I have to take down another variant of the bloodline? It seems like every time we get close to the tag team championships, the bloodline shows up. I feel fine, my body's a little bruised, a little woozy or whatever after the ladder match, but looking back on it, man, not only did I put on a show, I almost won the tag team championships. Not only was the bloodline in the way, but now DIY is in the way. Ford's WWE booking over the past few years has received notable criticism. Ford at For one sure. stage looked set to be one of the breakout stars of WWE, yet WWE insists on him remaining in his Street Profits partnership alongside Angelo Dawkins. Ford did get a decent push when he had a mini feud with Roman Reigns on yeah. SmackDown several years ago. However, despite impressing in this performance, WWE didn't continue the push and Ford was relegated back to the tag division. Do you think it's time for WWE to strongly consider a Ford singles push? Let us know in the comments below. I think a lot of us have been asking for that. Uh, I do think um, that is something that they should look into. They should have been looked into. Granted, I understand that, you know, they're trying to keep as many tag teams as they can, but I do think and uh Ford could be, I guess you can say, someone of uh somewhat of a talent that I know fans can get behind because of his moveset, his charisma. He could be a, a major player. He can be in that upper mid card and potentially depending on how they book him. Now, granted. I don't know what you do with Angelo Dawkins. Do you just let him fall by the wayside? Because I don't want that to happen to him, honestly. But I do see Montez Ford being a upper mid Carter for sure if they actually push him. So I I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would love to see that. I hope at some point we get to see that soon. But I do see them keeping them together because they don't have really enough tag teams. I mean, they do, but at the same time, I don't know if they want to separate them because what you going to do with Angelo Dawkins? I think you separate him from Montez Ford. Angelo Dawkins falls way down on the card unless they do something with him, but I don't see that happening either. So I don't know. I don't know, but I, I would like to see Montez Ford get his shine though. I'm not going to lie to you. Real reason Samantha Irvin left WWE revealed. One of the most shocking stories of 2024 surfaced this week when it was officially confirmed that Samantha Irvin had left WWE. Irvin was well on her way to becoming one of the most celebrated announcers of all time, and nobody truly saw her departure coming. Some fans theorized that she could be AEW bound, and it was later stated that she wanted to explore other projects. This isn't the end of this trending story as last night the former WWE ring announcer took to Instagram and revealed the shocking truth behind her WWE exit. Replying to a comment on her Instagram post, 
Irvin shockingly revealed that she never liked her job. I don't like announcing. I'm serious. Announcing was only supposed to be my way in. I wanted to manage, maybe even become general manager one day, but WWE saw no other future for me besides announcer. I love watching the action, but I don't love being an announcer. I love WWE and I'm so proud and honored I got to share all the moments with fellow fans. Much love. Also, they wanted Rico to stay in the big leagues. I don't know why everyone pretending like he was always in great positions at WWE. The fact that Irvin disliked her role in WWE, yet was so gifted at ring announcing, is unbelievable to think about. If Irvin did truly dislike her role and wanted to have another role within the company, then it's easy to see why she would want to leave WWE. Interestingly, uh. now that Irvin has publicly stated what type of roles she wanted to pursue in wrestling, time will tell if other wrestling companies pick up the phone and try to assign her one of these established roles. Yeah, that's crazy. So she didn't like announcing, but she happened to be good at it. And you know, you know what's crazy about that? You you can see sometimes people are good at a job that they don't necessarily like to do or it wasn't a job that they intended on doing they just happen to be good at it so they kind of just go along with it hoping that maybe if i do this for a while i can get to the situation or the position that i want and ultimately wwe is like look yeah you may have aspirations to be in a manager or you know whatever the case may be um gm possibly for one of the brands but um we already have some people in place for that and you do a really good job at ring announcing so we're just gonna keep you here and for her she's just like you know what i don't like doing this i i'd rather just do something else hey and that's her decision i will say this she's one of the greater announcers we've had in a very long time and she didn't like doing it that's crazy. We still appreciate the work that she has put in and the time and energy that she has put in so far. And uh, hopefully whatever she does in the future, it'll be more something that she enjoys and loves to do. Is Dolph Ziggler Hall of Fame bound? Nick Nemeth, aka Dolph Ziggler, has had a fantastic career, and the reigning TNA World Champion was able to reflect on his career during a recent interview with Busted Open Radio. During the interview, Nemeth was asked if he would be open to being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, and in a humble response, Nemeth stated that it isn't something he thinks about. It really isn't something I think about, but it's interesting to talk about when you bring it up. I'm like, oh, you know what? I take a lot of things for granted that I'm almost always helping somebody else or giving a little bit too much. I should have been more selfish, but I just love the business so much. And someone like me who is barely six feet tall, barely 200 pounds, does not have a friend in the meetings, did not come from Ring of Honor, did not come from the independents, did not have anybody rooting for me behind the scenes except for Pat Patterson, and he wasn't around all the time. Ziggler is a multi-time former world champion for WWE, and traditionally being a former world champion virtually guarantees a wrestler a Hall of Fame spot. Do you think Nemeth is a future WWE Hall of Famer? Let us know in the comments below. This is a very good question. A very good one. Does he essentially deserve to be in the WWE Hall of Fame? My immediate answer is yes. My immediate answer is yes for the simple fact that Dolph was one of the most, and still is one of the most consistent wrestlers that you can get a really great match out of him. He knows how to put over his his opponents. He knows how to sell. You can get a good match out of him. The only thing that would give some type of questioning to if he, you know, should be put in a WWE Hall of Fame, I do think he deserves to be in there, but should he? Is not because of his skill. It has nothing to do with Dolph Ziggler's skill. It has everything to do with how they booked him. Simple as that. I'm just being dead ass. How they booked this guy is the main reason why some people would feel like maybe he shouldn't. But I personally think he should only because of his work rate, how good he is in the ring, how great he is at talking on the microphone, and the fact that that he, he, he gets the wrestling in-ring psychology and he can put on good matches whenever. He just has to be booked like someone that matters. And they book they would book him for someone that matters for a little bit and then after that, he becomes a jobber. Then they he would get a little bit of a push. After that, he becomes a jobber. Like, he, he was one of the people, he was still in the show. But for whatever reason... 
WWE didn't have too much confidence in him consistently where you would be like, oh, he has a Hall of Fame career. He has a great wrestling career, but I, I, I think it really just comes down to, honestly, the way they booked him kind of would have some people be like, nah, he don't, he don't deserve to be in it. My, me personally, I think he does. Former WWE star getting ready for a comeback. Santino Morella joins the long list of names using stem cell therapy as the former Intercontinental oh, wow. Champion took to Instagram to state that he's undergoing work to get back in the ring. My recent trip to Rejuve Stem Cancun included intradiscal injections into the cervical and lumbar area, stem cell injections in both my knees, my right shoulder, and my wow. right bicep. Not to mention 100 million stem cells intravenously directed to the correct body parts via intentional inflammation, aka shockwave therapy. This hyperbaric chamber was intense too. Oxygenating the body increases the effectiveness of the stem cells. Oh, wow. I couldn't take any pics in the OR for my spinal injections, but these are the results I'm looking forward to the most. Good luck to Morella, okay. and we hope that the stem cell treatment is a major success. John Cena called out. Ever since John Cena announced that 2025 will be his final year in wrestling, numerous WWE names have called out Cena and stated that they want to face him during his final year in wrestling. The latest to do so is The Miz. Oh, While speaking on a recent episode wow. of The Rich Eisen Show, The Miz discussed Cena's upcoming retirement, and the Raw star revealed that he's throwing his name into the hat, and he wants a one versus one match with Cena next year. We'll never see John Cena in a match at WrestleMania ever again. When Cena says something, that's one of those things. Like, sometimes it's like, oh no, they'll be like Motley Crue, it's our last tour ever, then they're on tour three years later. No, Cena's not like that. Mm -hmm. If Cena says this is it, this is it. And I'm curious to see who's going to go up against him because I'm putting my name in the hat. I'll heal that one out all day. Names in the hat. Whilst a Cena vs. Miz match might not sound like the most glamorous match on paper, the two do have a ton of history. They do. The two collided in the main event of WrestleMania 27 and have had numerous feuds over their respective careers. The Miz is also an incredibly reliable and notably safe wrestler inside the squared circle, so it could be a smart move to pair the two together early on during Cena's 2025 run, and this would allow Cena to shake off any ring rust. WWE. Yeah, I can see that. And I can also see them mixing it up with R-Truth now that R-Truth is feuding also with The Miz. I can see that. I can see them I can see them doing that. I mean, R-Truth has history with John Cena too. Like, I can I can see that. Just as like a intro into things to kind of get John Cena back into that ring shape. Uh, you know, get some of that ring rust off. I can see that being an early, quick Quick few, nothing too serious, nothing, no, not ex super extended, just something to go down memory lane and probably move on to something else. I can see that happening. Would I be interested? Eh, it's like 50-50. Yeah, it's kind of yes and no, but I understand to get John Cena kind of in that mode of getting ready to wrestle uh, some more, you know, competition to kind of get him ready for that. WWE tease another bloodline return. With the Usos reuniting on SmackDown this week, it's only a matter of time before Sami Zayn re-enters yes. the Bloodline saga. Whilst there's still a month to go yes. before Survivor Series War Games, WWE planted the seeds for Zayn's involvement as they uploaded a compilation of the best Bloodline backstage moments to their YouTube channel, and they featured Zayn and Roman Reigns in the thumbnail. It's been yep. rumored that the headline match for Survivor Series yep. War Games next month will be a Bloodline versus Bloodline matchup, and this will see Roman Reigns, the Usos, and Sami yes. Zayn take on Solo Sokoa, Jake of Fatu, Tonga Loa, and Tama Tonga. Is Shawn Michaels... Yeah, we need it. 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 The OG bloodline versus the new bloodline. Oh, yes. Come on, Sammy. You know what time it is. Coming out of retirement, our final story today looks at the possibility of the legendary Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement. HBK recently spoke to Penn Live, talking about all things NXT, and HBK would openly discuss if he has any plans on wrestling again. HBK last wrestled back in 2018 when he infamously came out of retirement for the abysmal DX vs. Oh, Brothers of Destruction match. Yes, HBK correct. and the fans have firmly distanced themselves from the match since, yeah. and his WrestleMania 26 match versus The Undertaker is seen by many as his official retirement matchup. Despite rumors surfacing every few months, HBK has confirmed that he is done and won't be wrestling again. WWE did tease another match for HBK, most recently with Grayson Waller, yet this was, in hindsight, just designed to get Waller over with the audience, as opposed to create expectations that Mr. WrestleMania was going to have one more match. There you have it, folks, the wildest yeah. news stories and rumors you need. No more. I love, I love HBK. That's his last match to me. 
against the Undertaker at WrestleMania 26. I don't know what other match y'all talking about, but that's his last match, and he should keep it that way. I'm glad he never came back to wrestle again. <laughs> that is my head cannon, and I'm sticking with it. Comment down below. Let me know some other wrestling related videos y'all want me to check out. I definitely will appreciate all love support y'all shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.